Uh, well, let's start with the spiel, shall we? That always makes the most sense. So, salve, governor. The empire is under siege. I wonder why that is. Couldn't be someone's botched attempt at building an entertainment district, could it? I'm sending you to the heart of our ancient enemy's ravaged homeland to establish a new city. Sure of our defense of the African territories in the Empire's current state. Luxury goods are far less valuable. Food is at a premium. You'll not find trade nearly as lucrative. However, the current turmoil may provide an opportunity to host the fleeing nobility as they seek to escape war-torn lands abroad. If you manage to get this backwater operational, I grant you permission to tax their togas. Oh. Where did you get this, uh, this phrase from, Caesar? Well, one wonders. So, backwater mark one, please use the save game for the correct manufacturing. Updated a few days ago. Alright, well, thanks for the good luck. I think Caesar's in a better mood after we succeeded in his last task. I'm going to be absolutely sure I'm loading this from the save. There we go. And let's see what this is all about then. Uh, how do I usually start this? I usually start with available goods, don't I? So, we have wheat and fruit. It's always great to have wheat available on a central or southern map. And this is no exception, that's a lot of food coming out, but the fruit offers us a second food alternative, and a third with meat, again with the fishing. There is local pottery, there is not local furniture. Table's a bit clicky today. Can't wait to get my desk back. Local marble is always nice, there is wine, there is oil. This is pretty good, pretty damn good. The main import really is going to be furniture and weapons if needed. And the prices don't actually look any different than normal unless I'm... Ah, well, I think marble's down a bit. You know, I don't actually have these prices memorized, so for all I know, they are different. What does the Empire have to say? We are, of course, over in the ancient enemy's land of Carthago. It's Mark II. The text file wasn't updated. Mark I would destroy you, LOL. Destroy me, eh? Uh, we'll see about that. I'm sure I could beat it with both hands tied behind my back. Caesarea buys our marble. Thamagadi will buy our wine and oil, although we have been warned that these are not so lucrative, so the price is probably going to crumble. Syracusae will buy fruit and meat. That's probably quite important. We were told that food commodities are quite valuable, so establishing a naval trade route with Syracusae is probably a bigger priority than dealing with Caesarea and Thamagadi. Probably. Those olives might still be quite valuable, but I do need to import Thamagadi's lumber. Wow, that is a very limited amount of wood that we can import, and weapons come from Syracusae. Hmm. That low timber spells the same problems we had with oil in the previous map. That is 15 units of lumber per year, and that is only enough to give 62 houses access to furniture without any interruptions. Matthew from the forum called it brutal with a smile. Yeah, but we're no stranger to brutal maps around here, are we? Okay, what buildings do we have available? All water, all medical, no small temples. I play with god effects off these days, so that's less of an impact than normal, but it does mean that every time I want to evolve people beyond a small shack, they're going to need some pretty tanky large temples for it. Hmm. I'm even happier to use god effects off on a map like this, because it prevents needing a uh, god a ghetto of large temples, which is just... Although I suppose we do have oracles, don't we? All of the education, including mission post, and this time I'm actually going to check for natives. And it appears we have one native with one bit of simple crops, and he could be pacified. He could be bridged over and use the mission post, but that would be a waste of time because he only exerts his dominance on these two tiles. We could make him exert dominance on more tiles. But we won't. Right, as for the... Oh, right, the other buildings. Uh, we're missing something here. We are missing... The Colosseum 
And the lion house. No lions, no coliseum. Lions are actually the best civilian fighters in the game, which can be good for chewing up invaders if we knew where they came from, which we don't currently. Uh, still, that means that we cannot have the best patricians in the game. That's fine though, between Hippodrome, Amphitheatre and Theatre, we could still rock some Meacham palaces, I would dare to say. Depends on imports though. Uh, can we import wine? We can, okay. And we can make our own wine, so it looks like there's no limit on patricians, which is nice. One dude living in isolation there, I bet he's a streamer. Seems like the good life there. wonder how his uh, connection is. Right. Once again, we do not have access to statues. But we do have access to plaza and gardens. So it's the same story as before. Oracles are probably going to be our go-to for getting desirability. And I would rather like to have the... Medium palaces. They are my favorite kind of uh, patrician. But a big challenge on this map is going to be moving water. This looks like an all right place for building, but there's almost no capacity to water those people. There's only like two tiles of reasonable water space there. So from there, you could have fountains out here to extend your reach a bit more, but all of this land here is not going to be full of houses. Hmm, this looks awkward. Not insurmountably awkward, but definitely, definitely awkward. Hmm, there's almost no good building space on the on the ground here. It's all all on the elevated areas. That's gonna be tough. We do have a military academy. Oh, thank heavens. I very rarely get a military academy on these, but now we know we do. Okay. Okay, okay. What can we say about the layout? Right, we're we're told we're under attack here, right? Turmoil, blah, blah, blah. War-torn lands. So, yeah. We're probably going to be attacked here. Well, I'm certain we're going to be attacked. I was watching Blobber play earlier. No, he got attacked. I just don't know where he got attacked from. Uh, this whole... well, this screams attack point. This could be one, but it would be a pointless attack area, because it can't... the enemies can't cross from here. I'd fight them entirely on my own terms. This screams attack point, but I don't think Palomar puts attack points on the entry and exit points. Uh, maybe I'm misremembering that. I know John doesn't. Maybe Palomar does. This screams attack point, so does this. Heck, there are roads leading towards it. Same here, same here. That's a lot of potential attack points. Which is really quite horrible for us. Hmm. Well, we were warned that these are war-torn lands, but that really cuts off a sizable chunk of land for building on, because you, you don't want to put houses there, they're just going to get smashed in attacks. So that's rough. And it's a pretty large and broken up map, so I would probably want my army centralized to react to any threat. I could spread it out, like I have two... Ooh, well, actually... If I had a reasonable little bit of walling here, I could have, say, one, two, three forts here, and one, two, three forts here, and then they could react to attacks from here and here, and here and here, and if there's an attack down here, I just make sure there's plenty of wall to stop them from coming in. Yeah, actually, I think that's a good idea. So, army goes here and here. The real question is, where does my initial settlement go, where does my industry go, and where do I earmark for patricians and plebs? And they're going to have to be some damn good patricians, because the prosperity requirement here is a staggering 95. Peace at 70, with 30 years to beat the map isn't unreasonable. Favor 90 is a heck of a lot. Population 9,000 is a metric ton of them. I normally don't play maps with more than 10,000 population requirement. 9,000 is a fair chunk. Normally wouldn't be a concern on such a large map, but it's so brutal to build on. Our starting rank is Clerk. No kidding, Caesar really did promote us to Clerk. Ugh. 
think I'll just demote myself to citizen and uh, fulfill Caesar's requests. Uh, speaking of which, have a Greek manuscript, Caesar. Get off my back. Uh, jeez. Mm. Mm -hmm. I feel like the Palmar does not is a deja vu. Been a lot of that for his happening. This map throws them all away. Okay. Right. Right, right, right. I think I'm gonna have my patricians up here. Because that way the lack of watering isn't too big of a deal. Actually, there's quite a lot of good space for watering them there. I could even double road give them services if required. But yeah, patricians up here. Mm-hmm. Wait, where's the food? Oh, right, it's... it's uh, there are very small tufts of grass along there. Okay, so there's arable land, as is often the case of the Palomar map, absolutely everywhere. Hmm. Looks like the theme is, if there is water, there is arable land. Even on the elevated part here, though. This looks like an excellent area for plebs. If I put the army here, and I should be able to fit three chunks of army here, probably one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yep. Army goes here, farms go here-ish with the central granary, and up here we have... It's not very well suited for a loop. Do I really want a long line? I don't, but could I? I don't like doing lines. Could have services in the center and then a line off here and a line off here. But again, lines are bad, loops are good. Uh, yeah, I think, oh wait, wait, how do these people even get water? Ah, bollocks, I always forget this. Okay, I take it all back. This is awful for putting people on because there's no water access. Or rather, there's heavily limited water access. Hmm. Yeah, with 9,000 population, that's a huge demand on plebs. And where are they going to go? There is almost no good building space here. Hmm. Do you like your extra starting money, Jake? Palmar doesn't do that normally. No, 6,000 is a ton of starting denarii. So I am looking forward to very quickly establishing at least hovels, and then probably just promoting them up as fast as I can. Of course, industry will also be needed, but like I said, I plan on focusing on food exports because that's what Caesar's letter says. Although I will need to establish my own pottery for local consumption, but then it's tax o'clock. Tax their togas off, I believe I was explicitly instructed to do. But it's... Elevated land is one of the hardest things to build around because water doesn't go up, so that severely limits where you can put your houses. If you don't have water, you're not getting, any, getting anything better than a large shack, and you cannot tax a large shack on very hard mode. Jeez, I'm just thumbing over the map again and again and not seeing anything useful. Um, hmm. Uh... You have the whole southern tip. True enough, we have this. There's easy water access here. But this raggedy bit is awful for building on. And it's very far away from the entry point. I always like my initial settlement to be close to the entry point, which is here. Because it allows you to get more people in much faster. <sighs> Goodness sakes, where's anything going to go? I suppose it's not unthinkable to have a long stretch along here. Okay, okay, a, for, a, a plan is forming in my head. Very long stretch of road, punctuated with services, but they have the actor colony and the gladiator here, and the theater and the amphitheater here. And that way they get all the entertainment, and then all I need to sprinkle along is religion, 
a library and a bathhouse. That would work. Uh, marketplaces too, of course. Yeah, I think that could work. Uh, how's the food operate? We could have... And it is going to be wheat, of course. This is going to be where the army is. The army will also be here, so the farming largely needs to be done around here. Into a granary there, perhaps? Maybe even two granaries, uh, one here and one here. Accessible through here and here. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I, got, I got something in my head now. Don't need to worry about preserving the trees because we don't have the ability to cut them down. They must be a very poor quality tree that we cannot make lumber out of them. Better not cheese off Toga Boy so he doesn't attack from here. Sorry for killing all your trees, John. Even though they're not your trees. So we come all the way over here in one big line. One big merge or die line. Amphitheater we go here. With a little theater just down below it, I reckon. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I suppose one of the bigger problems here is that this is very, very narrow. It's not going to allow for a lot of ultra-convenient mergers. And this land is a waste of space. I can't do anything with it. The water only gets yay far. Or yay f Oh, that's a little frustrating, actually. That is not terrible. But it's not good either. I might need to... How would I feed those people? Uh... Frustratingly, I could probably fit like 2,000 people just for that amount of water alone. And given the large uh, population requirement, that uh, might become a thing. This is very, very bad. <laughs> I don't like this at all. Even though I decided I'd do it. Mm -hmm. Hang on, there's fish as well. That's an excellent fishing location. But this area, I mean, this feels like an invasion point. If it's not an invasion point, then, well, you're fooling me, but you did draw a road towards it. Eh, this wouldn't be too shabby for feeding people, but it's not the food, it's the water that's the bigger issue. Mm -hmm. This is really terrible. I don't like my idea already. I'm just seeing a lot of problems coming from it. What I might be better off doing is forming a loop here and just doing the best I can with the water. However good that is. Mm -hmm. uh, wasn't I meant to be here? keeping my army here? There could actually work, couldn't it, and still allow me to get some some water out? No, not quite. But almost, yeah, the water could go up there. Yeah, could work out something like that. Let me think the loop is around here. This isn't easy, you know. <laughs> uh, planning these maps as you play is tough stuff. So I'm thinking the 
granary is going to be around here. And it probably just branches off side to side rather than doing any kind of looping. Don't believe him, it's easy. So uh, how did your runs go, Alpha? Pharaoh as easy as advertised? Uh, who are we kidding? This is Alpha. It's not called Alpha for no reason. He is the Alpha when it comes to these old Sierra city builders. Well, impression game city builders. Right. I haven't even thought about my initial uh, industry because I'm hoping I can get a tax economy going pretty much instantly. Dun, 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 dun. that could spread out that way, get me some farming here and here and here and hopefully that'll be enough to feed my fledgling colony, should be good for at least 3,000 people or so. And given the limitations of the water, I suspect that's going to be probably more than I could handle in here. Right, so, 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 a loop around here. Crikey, this is grim in a lot of ways. But it's good, right? As I as I often love to say, this is the good kind of challenge in this game. Difficulties with building stuff, because our goal is to build colonies here. Even up here we've got this tactical rock to just get in our way. It's not a Marok though, it's not small enough to be a Marok. This loop might actually be workable. It's a little large, but it can be watered sufficiently. All right, good. hold on, does that cost? No, no, it does not. Right. You need to connect up here. A younger, less experienced Jake would have just used a gatehouse for this, but I like to think I am beyond such things these days. So, this is going to be a taxable, profit-making enterprise of small hovels here, but we still want to subsidize that with some actual exports. Syracuse I will buy our meat and buy our fish, and I just need to have something set up for that, and I don't mind that being a small, isolated detachment. In fact, this is where my labor is going to go. I want somewhere else to have my, say, marble quarries. In fact, I probably want a centralized clay operation from which to pool all the pottery out of. We don't export pottery, do we? We do not, but I do like my getting warehouses. So I need to think where my industry goes. Could go here. Where does the where do the where do the boats arrive from anyway? Let's go DDR Jake back water stream. And let's just speed up. Okay, so the boats come in from there and they leave unsurprisingly out there. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That means that trading around here would be very efficient and fast with the boats, but very close to what I suspect are invasion points. Tondolotricote, we could have a setup here and here. Or even just one of you with a lot of warehouses back here and a decent trade network or a decent area for processing over there 
Hmm, where's the marble coming from, though? I might still want to export some of that. I can sell olives. Olives, fish, and fruit. There's something to be said for having my dock here, truth be told. Easy fish access for selling. Farm space here, although I don't think I want to have too much farming. Really, I'd want the warehouses to be eating up this space mostly, and then the farming could be done, say, down in this area. Probably have the marble done here, and the wood processed here. Yeah, that, that makes sense in my head. Just a single dock is a little sad, but there are only two naval trade routes. I think that'll be fine. hesitating a little bit and I don't really know why. Ah, one thing is that to keep the road to Rome going I need you bridged here. And uh, I need a rather expensive ship bridge over here. 600. Can we do cheaper than 600? No, that's also 600. I may as well have it here then. Clunk. Bye bye some of my starting cash. Ooh, he doesn't like that because he just used up a very good fishing spot for that. I might actually prefer you to be here. Mm -hmm. Dock goes there. Fishy, fishy. Da 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 da. That causes some issues, though, because I wanted to. I wanted my goods to be able to come through here quite easily. Yeah, I think I'd sacrifice one fish for that, because I can also have a wharf here. Actually, no, two wharves here should be able to handle my fish exports. I don't think there's a lot of them, are there? No, it's only fifteen. Heck, one could take care of that. No need to worry about any of these trees or anything, so we'll just purge all of this. I'll set this up already, shall I? You're going here, and it's imperative that you are close to the warehouses. Uh, I'm dripping with money, comparatively speaking, for one of the one of these kinds of maps, which is to say any map I'm ever given. So I think I'm going to have something like this set up for the warehouses. So you come in here, you just instantly go to whatever warehouse you need to, and you get the job done very quickly. And then these warehouses are stocked up by whatever is around here, so... I could have the fruit around here. Uh, but I think it's better that I commit to a wharf. Do I want two wharves? Nah, one should be fine. Fruit, fruit, wharf. Could have the marble come out of here for what it's worth. But I think I'd rather have the marble done up here, it's more out of the way. Which is convenient. So far, so good. People are going to need labor access. If I shove it over there, everyone's going to get all the labor they need. Although I'll still add a little bit more, because I want you to be able to come down here for whatever reason. Question is, do I want my olives done over here? Nah, I think I'll have them done down here. Because that's the, that's the fruit, that's the fish. <laughs> the olives can be done by land, there's no need for me to cram it over here, is there? I should probably still export some marble, and at the very least I do want it, um... 
Oh my, oh my, I've kind of scuffed myself a little bit with the positioning here. Do I really want this trade route open, though? They sell me wheat. How would that even be useful to me? Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. Caesarea is a land trade route. I thought they were a naval trade route. Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay, alright, that simplifies matters considerably. In that case, I'm just going to rock their world from here. One, two, three, four will fulfill all of their needs, but they'll be slow to start up, so as long as marble actually has a value, one, two, five isn't a ton, but it's something. I know, I know, I'm spending forever getting started here. There's a lot to think about. Even though I have a lot of money, I want to spend it uh, in a good way. Expensive on the labor force, but that's a okay for us. That should be fine as long as we can shove some kind of two by two in here. That's an excellent position for it. One, two, one, two, one, two. There we go, there's no way that you're not going to walk past those constantly. Mm -hmm -hmm. What was that? Paul's building? Paul's building is broken. What are you talking about? If you play, uh, Paul's building was added in Julius, but before Julius, what you would do is you just set the game to 10% speed and just constantly be tapping pause, 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 pause between your builds. It took me a while to unlearn that behavior, funnily enough. I'll still have you connected up here so that we can still get this stuff sold. So you're going to take the marble. You're going to take the fruits. Yeah, the fruits and the meats. Let's just keep you very close and sold as soon as possible. One of the other things that I do need to do is have a shipyard so that you can have your... Um, have your boats ready. Where am I going to have that anyway? Hey, that's a pretty convenient location for it. Oh, it can't reach. That would not be able to actually get the ships out to there, I think. So I need the shipyard to be somewhere like here for now. Boy, I'm burning this money fast. It's easily done. Really easily done. If real people can manage it, so too can I. Right, in they come. I don't know where you can bode. Uh, oh, I did not actually set up my reservoir. Where are we going to connect you up anyway? We'll just keep it there. I may move you in the future, but for now that should suffice. I'll make sure there's a path to get through you. Right. And when that shows me where the water is, that will show me where to build. Eh, actually, I'm not sure we care that much. I'm just going to slam down the usual and tell them merge or die. That should be plenty for now, but we can also have quite a lot of them over here, so let's not forget that. It still gets the desirability bonus from being relatively elevated. There we go. And of course these people are going to burn to cinders if we don't give them the usual onslaught of prefects. Engineers not quite so... Uh, Brutally needed. And a doctor to keep them happy. Okay. As soon as I have the extra population, 
I'm going to I'll set you off for now. As soon as I have the extra population, I'm going to start farming here so that this warehouse or this granary fills up with food, and then that food will be promptly thrown into people's bellies so that they can evolve. This place down here feels very, very under-prefected. Never ever trust these things not to burn down or fall down on you, especially when they're tents. Tents have a very increased rate of gaining fire risk, and it's somewhat random. There's a tick every now and then, and it'll decide to increase fire or not increase fire, as opposed to damage, which is predetermined. That just means you can make a slum, make a huge wait on making a huge city, then switch to order. Uh, when you have this time limit, you cannot just sit back and make loads of money. I remember when we played Islands of Pain and I tried to at least make some money? Well, we ran out of time on that map. I'm, I made it all the way up to having a palace on that map and I still failed. Imagine failing when you have a palace! Unthinkable. Right, industry and commerce gets number one for a split second just to get these goodies put into uh, the warehouses, but I need a lot of people moved in here. And this is even with my uh, marble turned off. I'll need it turned on eventually. We started with six grand and we've already burned through five grand of it. Easy come, easy go with money. I'm a little concerned at how quickly the fire risk is growing on this wharf. Don't tell me I need another Prefect, because I'll put down another Prefect. Alright, there we go. Met most of our employment needs. Still plenty of places for people to move in. Sadly, nobody moved in over here, so we're still waiting on getting... Uh, Boy, I don't like your fire risk or your damage risk. But nobody work, uh, nobody lives over here, so there's not much I can do about it right now. Doing what I can, though. The mergers aren't great, but they're not bad either. At least the bits that they're not merging in make little spaces here which are quite convenient for uh, adding in 2x2 two two services like markets and such, but to give religion I need a tonking big 3x3 three three space, which is very, very space inefficient. Large temples are awful. As buildings go, they're really bad. They're expensive, they use more workers and more space. They have twice the effect of a small temple to the gods, but who cares? I certainly don't. Right. We have enough unemployment to turn marble on, and then when we have even more unemployment, we're going to begin farming. In fact, I'm going to already get some farms thrown down. That was quite a lot of farms to throw down, but throw them down I did. I'm very curious to see if these people get employment. Unless they get lost inside here, they almost certainly should. Oh look, they're already getting to work, that's what I like to see. Now, it's already September and I already want to meet some of this trade quota, so let's get selling that fruit. And I already regret that because it probably put me into debt. Ooh, not quite, not quite. So if I can just get rid of some of that fruit, uh, I might be able to stay in the black at the end of the first year, which is very unusual for one of my cities. Normally we just debt max to hell with the consequences. Oh right, I probably should have turned off everything from you. You're taking goods that I don't want you to have. Here comes the boat. I specifically made it large temples only on this map, because you turn off the god effects, thus removing that challenge. Thus removing that challenge. I, I don't get what you're following. Uh, I don't follow what you're getting at there. I turn off god effects because I don't like the god slums and I don't like using the blessings. Sure enough, it removes a challenge that some mapmakers put in where you're forced to do early marble imports, but I have 
seen and dealt with that so many times that I'm not terribly interested regardless. Okay, right, these fruit imports are keeping us in the black, but the money we make from selling fruit is pitiful. Perhaps even pitiable. Let's work our way towards having... Um, having our beloved... Come on, words. Hobbles. Let's work our way towards hobbles. Uh, I will need some marble for that, but they are slowly but surely making that marble. Emphasis on the slowly. I kind of want more people living here. i yeah, shove some more in right here. Caesar won't like this. I know Caesar won't like this. justify putting in more like that, but I'm running out of uh, people to work here. And I really need some marketplaces going. I'll slam down two marketplaces. Should keep us good for a wee while. It'll eat up all the food here, give them more space. They won't distribute the food just yet because nobody is watered. I don't really want to water until I've uh, sorted out the mergers, but sooner is better, right? No, that is not inherently true at all, but well, we've got to do what we've got to do. Oh, that's right, I haven't taken Caesar's bailout money yet, have I? I already gave him a gift. We'll see if I stay in the black or not. Ah, but if you come to buy just a tiny bit more of my fruit, which, thinking about it, I could be making more of right here. There we go. There we go, 104 denarii. I'm rich. I still need to set up a temple here, sadly, and that's going to make me very not rich. Nice mergers. Okay, I like what I see. And I've got the marble for a large temple. Where's it gonna go? There's actually a pretty good space for it right here. And to make things even nicer, I can push you out a bit. Because you may or may not merge here. I'm not entirely sure. We made it to January. I don't mind the debt now, because we didn't lose the Imperial favor for it. Let's praise Ceres. Hmm. Ihr habt diese Gelder ziemlich schnell ausgegeben. Versucht zumindest mit diesem Geld etwas länger auszukommen. Yeah, whatever you say. Right, let's not let's not uh, avoid the debt. Let's embrace it. This will evolve these people to small hovels, and then begins the age of the taxation. A good age. For those, I'm going to remove our one by ones. They're just going to waste my time and effort. I don't know if you're going to evolve together or not. Or merge together. I think they might. My instincts tell me they might. Fountains, huh? Mm. And not no fountains, no statues. Mm. Okay, there we go. Here's hoping we can enjoy a uh, a tax economy real soon. And let's get that marble rolling. And let's ensure that fish is rolling as well. I want to keep a. 
Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl, Geld wächst auf Bäumen. It's worth the five favor hit to go into debt, as long as we don't eat the rolling five favor hit for being in debt at the turn of each year. And, of course, don't get invaded. I'm gonna keep... No, I won't keep any marble. I'm gonna... Gonna shift everything I can to stay out of debt if I can. And waste not, want not on those taxes. I'm gonna pay a little bit above Rome and I'm gonna tax to 14% because unemployment is quite low. And I do really want you to merge if possible. Let's try our hand at welling you. And then you should at least become large and then I need to use a small shack the moment you get a... Uh, Akrons. All right, how about that then? I want to see if this merges. My gut is telling me that they will. Distant battle. Enemies are already on their way. I need to start an army. Uh, hmm. There's every possibility that I'm going to be importing weapons here. So it stands to reason that I should have maybe my barracks here. Well, not yet. I don't have the money to start uh, producing an army, but pa, we'll do it anyway. Uh, let's get some javelins on both sides. So I want my armies here. Perhaps a wee ship bridge. And some javelins here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now let's recount because I often miss this one. One, two, three, four. There we go. I'll have heavy infantry, heavy infantry, bridge across so they can defend there and here. And I will wall this pretty heavily just to prevent uh, enemies from breaking on through. And I will do the same. Oh yeah, I was meant to use this for army, not for that well. Eh, eh, I can have quite a bit of them here, I suppose, and then... Yeah, actually I can have them here, and I have a bridge here, and they just waltz on over and mulch anything that comes in, if it attacks from here at all. Right, I believe in myself with that idea. He's so unhappy with me. Well, that's exactly why we send him gifts every now and then. Wait, wasn't I meant to set... Oh, oh, I forgot. I didn't set my salary to zero. I think I did and then reloaded my save when I was testing things out. That sounds believable, doesn't it? Do we trust these marketplaces? Do I trust these marketplaces? Have another marketplace. Maluco, essa taxa de desemprego tá alta demais. Right, do these merge? Please do. They do not. I was played the fool. You don't like where you live. Here's a little bit of garden to make you change your mind. You don't even get food, so it just sucks to be you, I'm afraid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a decent number of you. How about that? Contemplating whether or not to give you services. Questions, do you get religion? The answer is no, so I don't really care about you. We'll just leave you be for now. Surprisingly, no fire risk, but we do take care of people in that regard. This is pretty good. Would be better if I had more things to soak up unemployment, though. Because that will allow me to tax heftier. Right now people are pleased with me, but as that unemployment grows, they're going to get less and less pleased with me. And hovels are fine. Hovels pay reasonable taxes. Might not look very reasonable. Not on the map and not on here, but it is money, and I do like money. What I could certainly consider doing is setting up the alternative uh, area for... Selling olives. Hold on, they buy oil as well. Mm. I'm pretty sure the oil dries up, though. 
In fact, I am all but certain the oil dries up. I remember it being a point of contention for poor Blobby earlier. Right. You do not go far at all for the fish, which is excellent. How are we doing on the fish quotas right now? Oh, we're halfway there. We're definitely overproducing fish then. Uh, that's not too bad a thing. In fact, is your cart pusher even available to take the fish? No, no he's not. Okay, in that case, fish goes here and not here. Otherwise it's going to fill up. And then... Hmm. I'll probably want an additional warehouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe a warehouse here that takes the marble. And then down here I'll need the olives. I want to soak up unemployment as well and olives can help with that. Trouble is, this is really good arable land for feeding people around here. And the whole layout of this map is... It feels more open, but knowing that I have 9,000 people and knowing that the uh, water is so difficult to move around is putting a little bit of pressure on me even at this early stage. I can have three olive farms and uh, pretty much sell it all. Maybe I should just do that from the get-go. One, two, three. Popeye, here's your olive. And just engineer it, prefect it, and they will get labor access from here. And then the olives can just go over here. Easy money. Did you look at the map? Play it? Watch a playthrough of it? Uh, that's a question to... Hentai Dad? And I can't see what they were saying. What a pity. The threading thing on uh, Twitch I think is even worse than not having it. Alright, the people are getting more and more unhappy with me due to my taxation coupled with my uh, my high unemployment. A military academy will chew through some of that unemployment, but it'll also put me into heavy debt. Real heavy debt. Do I want that heavy debt? Not really. But I do want that academy training. Uh, okay, well, oh, would you look at that? They're buying up my marble. They didn't buy much, which tells me they've filled up their quota, but... Does that give me the confidence to put down a... Um, no, it doesn't give me the confidence to put down a military academy. It's just so expensive. But there we go. Feels nice to actually have something resembling a city for a change. It's what happens when you actually have some starting money. Uh, why am I not exporting my olives? Because I didn't open up Thamu. There we go. Please buy my olives. Okay, this is all quite agreeable so far. The money isn't great though. And again, people are getting very unhappy with me because of my high unemployment. I do wish I had more to soak up the unemployment with, but it's hard to make them work in a good way because our exports are so few. In fact, look at that, the oil is already dried up to zero. So yeah, the exports are rough here. I need my tax base, and that's exactly what these guys are. To that extent, I should probably get going on getting them pottery. Ooh. I could actually be doing pottery over here. I could put down two clay pits, four uh, pottery workshops, and start amassing pottery, say, here. Yep. I 
worry about going into debt at the turn of the year. Oh boy, I should worry about that even more. There goes a bunch of my money because people hate my tax policy. I'll drop that down and I will increase wages just to keep people a bit happier. But we need some stuff sold. Nie mogę się doczekać początku handlowania. Uwielbiam dobre interesy. And let's at least start a bit of pottery, shall we? Uh oh, okay, so we're selling even even fewer olives than before, and we're about to go into more debt, and I have nothing else to sell right now, do I? We sold all the marble, we can sell a few more olives, and that's it. So that's not good, considering I just lowered my taxes and increased my wages. That's really rather bad, actually. I'm gonna lose five favor if I'm still in debt at the turn of the year, and I'm going to be in debt. Even if I sent all of my money to the... Oh, what was that? Ah, the last of the oil. Uh, not the oil, the olives. The olives just got sold to keep oh. me in the black. That's great. That'll keep me good. For now. But only for now. I want more houses here, but I really don't have the money for it. There we go, we got one year to uh, claw our way out of this, and claw I shall. Right. Uh, with that in mind, let's put our people to work effectively. Clay pit, and a lot more pottery to soak up unemployment. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Six, why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should be fine for a good long time. I probably want a warehouse around here. It would actually be quite nice if it were somewhere like here. Bad for desirability though. Especially since this is a good prime candidate for watering people. I think it's going to have to be somewhere like there, but not necessarily there. Go and get that pottery, please. And... Merge or die is difficult to do when I've already watered my people, but I do want to see merge or die here. Once we have the pottery over here. We're going to turbo max our way towards getting these people to be small insulae. Small insulae pay a lot of money in taxes and that's what we need. Also fresh year is fresh time for export quotas so we'll get on that as well. I dumped my unemployment, which is good, but some of it will come back. Oh dear, these people don't want to merge. I only got two mergers out of that, but I'm going to take this away. Devolve them to see if we get any more cheeky mergers out of them. Which I don't think we do. Oh right, there was you as well. Oh, they really don't want to merge, do they? That's okay though, we might get a merger out of you. Or potentially something out of you. I don't like the merger fishing game, but of course I don't have my mod that tells me where they merge. It's okay. These guys will easily come back when we uh, sprinkle water on them. They'll bounce back to life like a uh, like a spring crop. I wonder, would you rather merge? Yeah, okay, that's good, because I know that you're going to merge. Then I'll get rid of you. And you merged. Okay, that actually came out a lot better than it initially looked like it would. And now I can relatively happy water them as soon as these people move in. And they're coming in for it. It's taking you so long in getting that pottery. We need it now, sunshine, not later. The game is actually more zoomed in than normal El Coro because I'm playing on a laptop here. Only one monitor and... It's not even taking up the whole monitor. I need to be able to see chat at the same time, of course. So, well noticed. I'm no 
longer watering you, but that's okay. I can just well water you. No skin off my nose, that's for sure. Okay, once these people have access to their glorious pottery, the next step is going to be giving them theatre, amphitheatre, and all the extras. Of course, I have gone and made this a little unpleasant for access, haven't I? I hope there's no gladiator revolt. That would put a dampener on my run. Don't trust anything not to fall down. Prefecture and engineer we go-go. And they'll need an actor colony somewhere. That's actually a pretty good place for it. It's a desirable neighbor, but it's a space consuming one, so I need it out of the way. And then I need to make sure that they have a theater somewhere. There is somewhere. An amphitheater somewhere. There is somewhere. And then I'm going to hold off on giving them a school until they have... Until they have their pottery. Alright, um, I think I'll hold off on giving Caesar that. I want to fill up my trade quota for Marvel first. Oh, I already have. Funny that. Ship it off. Give Caesar some Persian carpets to keep him happy as well. And with that, favor won't be too bad, especially since we did not end up in horrible Ultra Debt. Ultra Debt is a very real level of debt, and I don't want to be in it. Okay, this is looking good. In fact, I'll give them a library. That should make the full round. Oh, what do you mean you don't want to merge? I didn't agree to you not merging. Regrettably, I'll just pull you down. These people will gobble up that pottery, and do I want to give them another marketplace? Kind of, so I will. I see you're having desirability issues, I'll help you out there. No statues is a little rough, but fortunately... Fortunately, small insulae do not have massive demands when it comes to desirability, so this should be fine. What is taking you here? The library is failing to make the loop. Please don't fail to make the loop. Okay, that should be fine. There's no way you won't make the loop now. Good, good. Better than good. That's not half bad. And they're getting their pottery, so the time has come to bathe these smelly Romans. This is a merger point. Why am I not using it? Also, you're a one by one. Get out of here. Good, they have clinicians. Or a clinician. Um, well. I think we could do a lot better than this. In fact, I don't need you or you. Or either of you. The bathhouse goes here unless this is a guaranteed merger spot. You know, I can't actually tell, so let's just say bath goes here. And you are a merger spot, so thunk. And these will be light insulae, which will pay me lots of taxes, and I'm suddenly going to worry that I was not dealing with the encroaching enemy. I don't know what they are, and now I worry very much that I'm not ready for them. Hmm. I was not staying on top of that. I might have to go into debt again. And I don't want to. And my units are not academy trained. Oh well, let's save so we're committed. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this land isn't very good for building on anyway. Javelin. There. One. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
Good. Fits. Ha! Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl Geld. Yeah, Caesar's not going to be happy with me, but too bad. It's not much I can do. Again, who would have thought Palmar with the early attacks? Right, tell you what I can do though, is I can tax heavier, because people surely love me right now. 18% maybe? Yeah, people love me, so hopefully they'll be happy to pay 18% tax. That's some good evolving though. Okay, what's the problem here? Oh, it's the bathhouse walker as usual, but she's going where we need her to for once. Hey, not too shabby. And like I said, the demands for desirability aren't very high for these people because they're only small insulae. And we're, we're building houses on raised land. Raised land has an increased housing value of 10 points. Normally, these houses would need, he checks his notes, uh, small insulate need 20 desirability, but because they're up here, they only need 10, and that's very easy to do. So, we're not going to get out of debt, no way, no how, not at this final month, but we're in a pretty good space as long as this next attack doesn't fry us, because we can make good money off of these plebes, although my unemployment is getting outrageously high. If I had a bit more money, I would be happy to even set up an early patrician block, but I do not have money. I definitely do not have money. I wonder what the happiest uh, medium I have for keeping people well taxed would be right now. Actually, I've forgotten my taxing numbers. Let me check. Citymood.png. <clears throat> 14 is only a minus 3% happiness. Eight or more wages is plus four, minus one. Okay, I should tax them at 14% then. 14%. That won't be good forever, but it'll be less bad than the alternative. There is um, <clears throat> The perfect way to do them is to alternate between two different levels of tax, like 4% and 25 or something like that, but I forget the exact numbers and I don't want to micro it whatever it is. This is a pretty good tax base. Small insulae are just so good for feeding you dosh. In fact, in one month, 9 denarii, 2 denarii, 9 denarii, 10 denarii, depends on how many people were living inside them, but it looks like 10 denarii per square per month. And hey, look at that, nice and black! Oh, I look good in black. Now... I do probably need a military academy and probably another fort as well. Dare I put the mill academy here? Uh, I mean, I guess so. It has to go somewhere. And I've kind of used up the center point here. And it's not a building that I want to move in the future because it's very expensive. But if it doesn't get mil if it doesn't get labor access, that's a problem. But you get labor access. Ah, hell, there you go. expenses don't stop, do they? Because I need, uh, I need a bridge here so that you can get along. <laughs> Is there a cheaper way to do this? Now nah, all these rocks are in the way. I do not want to spend $1,000 dues on this bridge. Not by a long shot. But who knows? It there's a good chance the attack won't come from here. If it does, I'm screwed, but uh, there's a good chance that it won't. Let's believe that it won't. Wait, Jake restarted? I haven't restarted uh, this map so far. Yeah, that could change, though. These trade quotas are terrible. I mean, reasonable amount of fish and fruit, but the value of them is really low. No wine, no oil, a low amount of olives, and a very low amount of uh, marble, which I'm pretty sure has a reduced price. 
So yeah, terrible trade opportunities, which is why I rushed getting a tax base up. But even so, that tax base won't be happy forever, especially when I keep my unemployment this high. It's difficult to make a lot of productive jobs for people when you don't have a lot of things to export. And I would love to set up a patrician, uh, patrician block, but with, uh, with what goods? I, can, I suppose I can make my own oil and my own wine, can't I? Yeah. Patrician rushing might not be the worst idea, but they would need a hippodrome and that costs two and a half grand. Yeah, I'm not sure I can reasonably justify that. Native tamer, tamer drum circle, but there are no lion tamers. So that's a no-go. I don't think I'm going to be attacked this year. I'll probably be attacked next year. Even so, though, I should probably wall this off. How will you get along? You're going to run along here and then up this way, aren't you? It's funny, they run over there for their military training and then have to run all the way back. Yeah, my soldiers aren't too fussed about the length they have to run. I might need more javelins. I can't afford the import of weapons. Or can I? Well, no, not really. Maybe I'll go mounted. I, I never normally use mounted soldiers, do I? And they can react faster. One heavy, one mounted, and one javelin. We'll go with that for a change. What the heck? <laughs> I think they ran into a uh, protester and sliced him down where he stands. People are pleased with me, but that uh, unemployment is growing outrageously high. And actually, uh, taxes are only just beating wages, so I'm only making a small profit on my exports, which is unfortunate for me. Yeah, I need to save up a bit of dosh and then probably rush patricians. It's the only reasonable thing I can think to do right now. Which means, how do we get our patricians? I said this would be a good space for them. Do I still believe that? It's not an easy thing to believe. Attacks almost definitely come in here some way, shape, or form, but I can wall it off to infinity. Uh, the reason I think this looks so good... Why do I think this looks so good? Well, it, as raw squarey area... That's a bad way to show it. As raw square area goes, this is pretty hefty. I can shove quite a lot of desirability boosters here, have plaza, and then have... Thinking about where the water reaches out to. Fountain here and a fountain here would probably be able to support eight medium palaces. The question is getting goods over to them. And I do need to make a head start on those goods. I wonder if I could do the goods over here. There's not a lot of space, sure, but there's a decent enough fishing spot. Fish, fish, farm, 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 into the granaries, plural, over here. Or even just around here. Yeah, well, somehow. In fact, there, there's even probably a reasonable space for putting granary and granary and granary here. Then up they go, and those patricians are happy chappies. Yeah, makes sense to me. But I need the goods. Fortunately, though, we can get in the lumber from donkeys, which makes it easier to bring the goods over here. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do -do. I am way overdoing it on the marble, aren't I? Um, 
but that's quite good in a way because it means what I can do is... Is there space for 3x3 three three here? Better believe there is. If I got rid of you, and you, I could have a warehouse right here. The warehouse accepts furniture and timber, and I set myself to import timber, and then we have a furniture workshop just adjacent to you. in my head you have to go away and be reborn here and that one furniture workshop will be good for all of our patricians it's just going to take a wee bit to make some of that but in one year it'll have four units of furniture done and that'll be enough to kickstart my patricians okay i wish i had a little bit more going though That'll do us for now. <laughs> okay, unsurprisingly, people are unhappy. They don't want to be taxed whatsoever, let alone 14%. Maybe they'll make do at 8%. Maybe. Imagine living in a tent next to the fish where <laughs> yeah, it must reek. Yeah, it's an unpleasant life for them, but too bad. They knew the risks coming into this. We're out of debt, at least, but... I uh, probably really want another fort. I just don't want to be in debt at the turn of the... Hello? Oh, that's importing uh, pottery. Why that's even affected on a map where you have local pottery is beyond my comprehension. i get rid of this. We already have too many olives being produced. Don't want to go into debt before the turn of the year. But I also don't want Caesar to take too much tribute off of me. I don't pay myself a salary, so I can't give Caesar anything. This is quite nice and tight and concise. I like it. Am I actually selling that fish, though? It just doesn't feel like I am. But no, I am. It's just that the trading is very weak on this map. Okay, as soon as January hits, I'm going to start building up stuff for the uh, patricians. There we go, January hits. Just going to embrace the turbo debt. Clear out this area for the future patricians. Acknowledge the fact that I'm going to have a fight soon, and if it's a fight in a, bra in a bad place like here, I'm probably going to die, because I am too cheap for a 1,000 denarii bridge over there. Maybe I can make it, we'll see. Now, however you cut it, I need food here. Uh, let's assume I'm going to have eight Mijin Palaces, which might not be enough Mijin Palaces. Can I even get Mijin Palaces? Crikey, let me check. Uh, Mijin Palaces require 60 entertainment. 35, 45, 55... 60? Yeah, we can we can just barely get Mijin Palaces. That 95 prosperity requirement though, oh boy. Good thing Mijin Palaces have massive prosperity factor, but one Mijin Palace is only going to make up for... Uh, uh, how many times does 45 go into 805? Like almost 20, right? Yeah, 8 Mijin Palaces should do us good here as long as I don't have ultra crappy uh, plebs. And I need you here or here. And I need the water coming out to you. Doesn't really matter how, so I'll just do that for now. Our way through. And... Oh, that's right. For some reason, that doesn't count as road access for you. I'll just put that there for now. Uh, 
Oh, but the whole reason I was asking a question was to figure out the food required. So that's about 900 people, so 300 each. One wheat farm, two fruit farms, and two of those fishing places is probably overkill, but at least it means in terms of raw food there's plenty. But two wheat farms is actually probably a better idea. You take the fruit, you take the wheat, you take the wee fishy dishy. And then we go... Wheat, wheat. There. Fruit, fruit. Do 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 do. This is an ugly, ugly way of setting this up, I know. But there might be a method to the madness. Especially if you're there. And then, and then, and then, engineer, prefect, bonus prefect. And then hopefully these all fill up rather nicely. And then once they have that food in the granary, I should hopefully have enough furniture and pottery and... Um, oil and wine. Really processed. Only one for oil, but uh, two for wine. Actually, one for wine will suffice. Uh, somewhat annoyingly, they're going to need separate warehouses, otherwise one will fill up at the expense of the other. I don't want it even coming down here. Hmm. I think I'd rather they came around to here with it. It's difficult to plan these. Well, Alpha told it was it was easy, so we'll believe Alpha. You get the oil. Actually, you take the oil and the wine. I have no problem just turning off one of these things if it ends up being too much. The wine will be consumed twice as fast as the oil, which is a bit of a pain, but what can you do? I want you to get pottery and furniture, please. It's not difficult for you to get there. The difficult part is getting jobs for you, right? Or employment, rather. Oh, snap. I didn't realize it, but what I did was I cut this area off, and I think I wanted backdoor access here. Yeah, I did. Crumbs. Ha! Meine Gouverneure glauben wohl Geld. Yeah, Caesar is only too aware of my spending habits. Just shove down a bit more tent labor, I think, just to make sure everything works fine. And even though warehouses don't burn down, their labor tents may, so put this down here. God, I seldom rush patricians this fast, but the money situation I don't think is particularly uh, long-lasting unless I take care of this. Hippodrome. Big question. Uh, wait, is there even space for Hippodrome around here? If it's here... Oh boy, I should have checked that beforehand, but yes, it does fit here. Uh, it does not fit well, though. I wish I could fit it over here, but that would involve rotating the Hippodrome, which cannot be done. Even if you rotate the map, it doesn't rotate the Hippodrome. So, here, huh? Not ideal. Not ideal at all. So what'll I do with you? Do-do-do-do. 
well, you've got a very, very long walker path, so I'll probably just have you clip your way into into here. Should have considered the poor way that these things actually move around here, so I'll probably have a line of them here, which means that the road is on this. That means I'd have something like a fountain here, that waters both sides, and a fountain here. That works. What doesn't work well is the desirability issue. And it is an issue. Desirability is going to be hardcore. Probably need something like Oracle, 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 just to give a little bit of desirability. One, two, one, two, three, and one. That uh, doesn't work so well. Mm. Or. One of them here, with oracles flanking both sides. Trying to think of a design here. Desirability up here will be tough enough, let alone the services that they get. One, two, three, four, over there. I'm trying to think of a way to have the oracles actually affect, like every oracle affecting every. Uh, Mijim Palace here, and nothing is coming to mind. Except for this extortionate amount of debt that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to dig my way out of, let me think. Well, if I make about that much tax and uh, trade receipts this year, maybe, but I have a lot of heavy expenditures to do. I'll make a save in case I somehow muck all this up at this point. In fact, I'm going to make that save and try to do a bit of planning here. Imagine each of these governor houses is a uh, is a medium palace in a somewhat ideal situation. I have a setup like this, but then how do they become desirable? That is tough. Every oracle has a range of six. What I could actually do is. Can I replace the oracle with something easier? Easier to spam? Schools. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so each of them get at least four of the oracles like this. On top of that, they'll have plaza here. And a 10 bonus from being elevated, and the requirements and desirability for one of these is a staggering 74. And this doesn't even give them any services. Um, but I think it would have to be something like this. Services would come from over here. one more. I'm just planning here, don't worry. This, is, this egregious waste of money will not last. That, do, that does give a little more space for added desirability. If the edges need it, the center should be fine with all these oracles. These ones might struggle, but I can put even more desirability love down here. And then they get things like forum, market, market, and all the other services back here. I think that works. Different villa for every day of the week, including that lesser known Roman eighth day of the week. Okay, I think that's a design that could work. Well, I know it's a design that could work. Question is, will it work? And the answer will be found out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z.
It's a lot of wasted space over here. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I also kind of need this here. Yeah, more, more services can go over here as well, though, the two by two ones in particular. I just need to hope that at some point everybody walks on this side, and I need to make absolutely sure that the uh, bathhouse goes here. It's the only possible place for the bathhouse. Maybe there? I'm not sure. Didn't check everything. Anyway, that's where the patricians are going to go, but we're not going to have any patricians until we have their goods and services. So get gooding and servicing. I think I will speed up the production of wine and oil so that it's ready faster. The sooner I have these patricians going, the happier I'm going to be. Because patricians are going to solve my money problems. Goed, zie al die werkloze sloebers. Doe er eens wat aan. Sloebers is Dutch for I'm going to give you money because I certainly need some right now. Dokerzy niosą teraz towary, które właśnie kupiliśmy z magazynu. Buy my goods, folks. Oh boy, another attack is on its way, and I am really shy on my number of units right now. It's grim. Let's just go further into debt in the hopes that we can have an army. Da -dun, da -dun. I think we're going to wall this off just to buy some time in case they come from here. If they come from here, less of an issue. There's nothing they can immediately attack. This is a grave concern. Everywhere else is... Ha, no big deal. Okay, what'll it be? It'll be Rome increasing the price of pottery. But why? Why would you ever uh, import pottery? Right, they came at the worst possible location. I wonder if I could uh, bait them over here with a ship bridge. If nothing else, I need the army ready. Can they even get here? I don't think they can. There we go. All right. Okay, well, he immediately shot one of our lads dead. Uh oh, that's bad. That's bad. Ah, okay, they're going for the walls immediately. It's no time to get stuck in, folks. Why are they not going to cross? Uh oh, uh oh. Well, that is an absolute slaughter. God. Hang on, where are we? Okay. So, Goths are lightning fast, they're on these horseback archers, and uh, they are one of the worst units to fight in the game. On top of that, they just struck me in the one place I was not so ready for them. Uh. Trotz all der Gelder, die ich in eure Stadt investiert habe und der Großzügigkeit des Senats, was Kredite anbetrifft, habt ihr mich enttäuscht. 
Eure Stadt hat das gebrauchte Geld nicht zurückgezahlt. Mein Vertrauen in euch war fehl am Platze und ich werde mir an eurer Stelle einen neuen Gouverneur suchen müssen. Vielleicht ergeht es euch ja auf dem neuen Posten besser, den ich für euch vorgesehen habe. Got it. Okay, well, back to the drawing board on that one. Uh, right, if they are attacking from here, then that is getting ultra reinforced so that I can hopefully buy enough time to concentrate my forces. Despite the expense of walls and our expense of buggers. And the expensive ship bridge that I need. And the expensive fort of mounted units. Oh, goodbye, my money. <laughs> Rough. Unless it's random attack location, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that was just rotten luck, I reckon. That said, pretty hefty attack for the first attack, as usual. But we did get a lot of starting denarii, so I cannot really fault that. Let's see. Started uh, 700, so we had four years to get our army operational. And I did start pretty early with the army. I'm not so sure even this will be enough though. A uh, cavalry fight like dirt. And some of our javelins are not militarily trained. Reducing the damage they do and such. Oh right, my glorious patrician design. One, two, three, one, two. Bang. You know what? When Palomar makes a map, it uh, it says that the governor's name is Palomar, so I guess Palomar has beaten his maps. Okay, this is going a lot better with concentration of force. I'm actually going to send Aftish's finest in to die, because I want to lose a few of his uh, units. That way he'll be militarily trained next time. There we go, much better. That's why large maps can be really challenging with it when they have uh, invasion points at different places. Concentrating your force gets very difficult when you have a spread out city to defend. And that's one of the most damning things about Palmar's first map, the... What was it called again? Logistica Nova. Ugh. Oh. Very little space to build on. Attacks everywhere. Pottery needed, but we have pottery by the bucket load, so here you go, Caesar. Good that I get a chance to make Caesar happy because he's uh, he's not going to be happy with the with the money situation, especially when a year goes by and I still am still am in the red. Oh right, I didn't actually get myself these extra workshops. Workshop oil bang. There we go, go. Whoops, okay. Uh, these were not set correctly. One needs to get furniture and pottery, the other just needs to accept the oil and the wine. Logistica deserves another shake. Nope, no way. That was a miserable map. They're complaining about poor access to employment. Yeah, I'm sure they're fine, they're just moaning. So Robins love to do his moan. You're getting your pottery. When you have your pottery and your furniture, it's time to just... Uh... Well, I'm not going to debt max just yet. I'm going to get out of debt so that I have a two-year timer to debt max. Hopefully. Uh, in order to get that two-year timer, I need to get out of debt before the end of this year. And that's not looking good, because I've already done my exports, haven't I? Oh, dear. 
Alright, if people are extremely pleased with me, they can probably pay my higher tax. I don't think that's going to get me into the black, though. Ooh, dear. Well, I know that it's not. 1582, turn of the month. Fifteen oh seven. Oh dear, right there was something that I had set up properly before, but with the reload I lost it. My vine farm and my winery. I didn't want to lose those. I think the other things are going to break down as well. Look at this thing ready to pop. And you. That's all money that I didn't really have to uh, to lose. So yeah, people people love to say, "Where's the challenge?" If you start out with all that money, well, if you can't consistently make that money, yes, it's challenging. And the exports on this map are terrible. James, just German Caesar is so bad at being angry. Where did that wood come from? Oh, that was an import, wasn't it? Yeah. Crumbs. Right, so this year I need to get back in the black. And then next year it's time to supercharge my patricians. Which is to say, get them at all. But there's a good chance I'm going to cheese off Toga's boys so hard that he attacks me. And that would be a big problem, because I'm not sure that there's enough time or requests to make Caesar happy on this map if I do go into Ultra Debt. And 90 favor requirements is rough. Also, there's inflation, just to add to the long list of difficulties faced on this map. And people are going to be very unhappy with me soon. back in the black, which is very nice. Now then. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. going to use wells to stop these from expanding the way I don't want them to. But there's the patricians. They're going to get a mountain of oracles on the back row. Can't afford them right now, but someday they'll get them. Two, one, two, one, two. I'll have you there for now just to provide everybody with a little bit of desirability. And now I just got to stack those, um, those services. I'm actually going to put in the bathhouse first, because it's going to be the easiest one to forget. One, two, three. There you go. And now a whole bunch of marketplaces. One, two, three. I think I wanted the side bits for more desirability boosters, but that should do you for now in terms of uh, marketing. Right, what do you need? Large temple. This is a good place for it because it should give some desirability boosts. Some much desired desirability boosts. And we're going to praise Mars probably, because God knows how much protection we're going to need on this map. Uh, they are going to need some schooling. School kids from there should be able to reach down there, that's not difficult for them. They're going to need a library. They are going to need at some point an academy. I'm just going to shove everything down. Let's just, uh, this is our Hail Mary for the map. I didn't think at all about, um, about their need for entertainment. Crumbs, where's the, oh, there is no Colosseum, of course. Well, the amphitheater can fit quite nicely around here then. 
I just need the walker to actually go around here, which it doesn't always. Hippodrome's going to be down here, huh? Should I put in the Hippodrome first? No, I would never get out of that debt. But I do need it eventually. I should just uh, figure out its, its position first then. Yeah, yeah, the deforestation is what we do. Probably going to have it about here. That allows us to go around it. And then I just have to hope that the Hippodrome guy happily goes up over and then down to here. He should. He's got a massive range of uh, how far he goes. this well here just to prevent me from pushing the hippodrome over one too far because I want this area to be able to walk around it. That's the stuff. Thank you for not double clicking on me with that one Logitech G502. Could have done without the two and a half grand loss. Uh, right. Does not change the fact that you do need a theatre. You do need an amphitheatre. the uh, performers for which I'll put over here later. You will absolutely need taxed. That is a no-brainer. Hopefully the tax man always goes around here, but he might not occasionally, in which case, if he ever fails to, I can put another forum over here. I will do that already. Um, other than that, you will need doctoring. You will need a barber. You will need a hospital. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Twitched on that one and pushed it a little bit further back. And because it double clicked. Because it double clicked, it didn't allow me to undo it. So that was a 300 denarii loss. You'll need the academy. And you will need prefecturing and more prefecturing to be safe, and more prefecturing to be ultra safe, and an engineer, and maybe one more engineer. And they might not get their workers here just yet. So I'm going to add in you and you and probably someone here as well if I can find a 2 by 2 merger. You'll 2 by 2 merge, and that should get all the workers that we need around here. Also, more prefecture. Right, this is very expensive, and Toga Boy may very well flip his lid over this. But if I could spend a month. Oh, cripes! Uh oh, okay, no more marble. Well, that's not good. That is verily not good. Wouldn't be so bad if I hadn't had to fork out a thousand denarii on this bridge. Oh man. So next March, Caesar's just going to come down on me like a ton of bricks. I don't think I have anything to export. A little bit of fruit. And that is it. Nothing but fruit. Why do you have nothing in you? I never built the shipyard. The super vital shipyard. To actually get my fish into this granary. Mm hmm. Not good. Enemies at the door. Also not good.
Oh boy. Yeah, we needed that starting cash, because uh, even with it, this is going grim. Also, uh, unfortunately, okay, there we go. I was saying, unfortunately, these guys aren't getting religion access, but there we go. They do need more religion access, but uh, one will get them up to Grand Insulae at least. Oh boy, I am so screwed. I'm not getting out of this debt in time. Since I can't sell my marble, the only thing that I can sell are olives, fruits, and fish. And, uh, hang on a bit. Let me see what Caesar said. Food is at a premium. Food prices are no different from normal. So I'm, I'm not making fat stacks of dosh off of them. Olives are a luxury food, <laughs> so it seems. And I'm not making the fat stacks off of them, though. Oh god, I'm just going deeper into debt. Right, well, I'm going to lose another five favorite at the turn of the uh, turn of the year, but then I'm going to have my favorite drop down to ten because uh, Caesar's not going to be happy with me. I might be able to beat back his legions once or twice. Beyond that, I am in deep doo doo, so I might have to actually build up some legionnaires on weapon imports and embrace the ultra debt and fight back against Caesar. Which tells me I need somewhere to actually import weapons to. Can't I import iron? I can import iron. So what I could actually also do is say that you are a weapon and iron getter. And then I say import iron and then I'm going to need somewhere to... Somewhere to produce the weapons. I don't really have here. Well, marble, marble has stopped altogether, so I could actually get rid of two of you. Weapon, weapon. Yeah. Yeah, that kind of works. Kind of. It doesn't work great, though. Oh, man, you are right next to the engineer. <laughs> All right, screw it. We're not having. We're not having the oil then. Double the wine, single the oil. Wine gets consumed twice as fast as oil by patricians, anyway. Oh, right. I'm not getting anything without my hippodrome, and that's another two and a half thousand. Genug. Niemand macht sich lustig über Rom. Macht sich über Rom. Yeah, you're losing me, Toga boy. Don't know what you're saying anymore. I know what I'm saying, though. I need those uh, weapons. Enemies are closing, and the enemies will fight alongside Roman soldiers. It's not a good deal for us. Okay, so these guys are happy enough, but they don't have enough uh, entertainment. So, at the, I'm at the cusp of debt here. I'm just going to shove down the Hippodrome and pray that this saves me. Actually, before the Hippodrome, it's going to need a Prefect and an Engineer to ensure that it doesn't break down. The last thing I want is my beloved Hippodrome dying on me. It's happened many a time before, let's not have it happen again.
But that's it, we are committed to the debt. There's nothing more we can build. But that also means I can't delete anything, which is a problem, because these wells are in the way for my uh, patricians expanding. Oh dear. Oh hey, I can import more wheat. do is hold our breath. People love me and there are no employment problems. Well that sounds like ultra tax to me. And that becomes a big problem if I ever actually run out of people to work. Ah, I don't know why I'm going to get out of here with this route. They don't want to buy it or they don't have anything to sell. There's no place for these things, just things, no matter what. Oh no, the dike breaks door. The golden must not hurt us. Oh. Oh no, the dike break door. On the interest, we get free temper. All right, another attack does come from the other side. Of course, I don't have a bridge available to it, but that's not a big deal. The big deal is that they are goths, and goths are horrible to fight. But hopefully, we can get into position and take them on. Oh right, I can't delete anything. Out of credit means you can't even delete. Oh, I don't like that spreading out there. Well, not much can be done about it. Come get some, you ugly bastards! Oh no, no, no! <laughs> don't ignore my units! look good for us, but I think we're okay. There we go. Roman cavalry fight like dirt. But unlike heavy infantry, they don't require weapons to build or maintain. Now, I need my units um, patched up in time for the fight against our fellow Romans. Caesar demands my marbles, which is fine, because I've got loads of them. That was a lot of marble to demand. He took almost all of them. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. So I'm not going to get patricians here because I didn't build enough oracles to up their desirability. Hmm. Can I actually claw my way out of this debt? Yeah, it's possible. My tax rate is so high that I might be able to make something happen here. But I need my army uh, put back together. And that might be a bit too much right now. Oh, hey, look, you're happy enough, but still the desirability hurts. And until I'm in under negative 5,000 debt, I can't build anything. And because you just took all my marbles, I can't build any more oracles anyway. Ugh. So yeah, all this idea of, oh, there's no challenge if he starts off with thousands of denarii. No, there's plenty of challenge if there's no good trade route. And uh, the trade here is terrible. Unbelievably terrible. Well, it is believable, but it is also terrible. Right. What can we make happen with this? Three columns of Roman soldiers, and they're they're just gonna lay waste to my army here. <laughs> I don't stand a chance, unless, of course, I invite them over here. Oh, no, I didn't want you guys to just stand and face tank that. Uh, 
No, 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 no. Don't enter the city. You're not allowed in my city. Oh, they're coming for me. Too many of them, sunshine. And they're going for the city. Don't go into my city! Oh, they're eating my water. I can't undo the damage. I don't have any credit. Boy, unemployment. Okay, more inflation. Where, where's, where's even the remaining? Oh, crikey, he's over there. Just two Romans tearing apart my city. Is that it? Ah, oh, no, some of them are... Wait, what? How are they even over there? Very good at resisting projectiles. Ah, so you've defeated that bunch of incompetents I sent to arrest you. You have some ability. For that I salute you. Next army I send for you will be a different matter. Ah, and he's not wrong. I have nothing with which to resist him. Yeah, I think my money's going to go down rather than up now. He destroyed my exports. He destroyed my tax base. And very soon he's going to destroy me. And because we don't have uh, workers, nothing's functioning, so everything's breaking down. People are unhappy. And in come the next batch of goths. And my army is relatively shattered. <laughs> they don't even need to pay attention to my army, they just roll on in. Imagine how disappointed the Goths have to be. They came to burn village, but there's already nothing left. There's all the pottery they could ever want. All right, let's do this again then. That sound effect just takes me straight back to Golden Eye. Right, ignoring whispering Caesar there. Right, is there anything left to Yeah, oh, we're just we're just back to here. Trying trying to think how to worm my way out of this situation. I could wait a little longer on the patricians, as long as I can cleat myself out of debt. Because what killed me there was lack of money. But there's so little opportunity to make money on this map.
If I soaked up a lot of unemployment through missionary posts or similar, I could engage in ultra tax. But right now, thanks to... Well, inflation has even kicked in, but my high wages are still meaning that uh, taxes only keep up with wages. Or, yeah. Oh, crikey, and we're, we're going to lose our marble exports really soon. That makes things even worse. It's all bad, basically. It's all so bad. Oh, I forgot about the attack. Ah, crumbs. Could I, uh, could I engage them over here then? Save myself the money on the bridge. No, there are no more trade routes. There are only three trade routes from uh, Carthago, and they're all terrible. Only 15 marble, and marble falls apart, and this disappears entirely. Uh, no wine, no oil, a small amount of olives, and a moderate amount of fruit, and a small amount of meat. So the only thing you're selling are low-value items, and that's just... Nay good! I'm gonna miss that house. Yeah, I, uh, I completely forgot about this attack. Right, what am I going to do then? I'm going to get these guys to screw off. And then I'm going to have to hold out financially for a wee while. You were warned about the trade price collapsing. Yes, this is true. But knowing that and being able to do anything about it are very different things. This is a reasonable tax base, but it doesn't answer all of my problems because unemployment is so high, preventing me from ultra-taxing them. And there's not a lot I can meaningfully employ people in. Not to mention that employment also costs money. I want to get my patricians, but it's difficult to do with what I have. I think they're shooting us from off screen. Who ever heard of screening with horses? Ah damn, I didn't lose an aft dish's finest. I still want an extra load of mounted brigade even though they fight like dirt. I need to protect my city first and foremost. And I need to remember that shipyard this time. I hear you, Caesar. Take the pottery, get off my back. And as long as people are happy enough with me, they'll be happy enough to pay my 14% uh, taxes. You know, I wonder if setting it to 14 is the best idea. Uh, I mean, 8% is neutral and 14% is minus 3 on uh, global happiness, but 9 is minus 1 and 11 is... Minus two. I think it's worth it for the 14%. Could be dead wrong in that, though. Oh, crikey, I didn't have these set up. I'm not going to set up the extension here, though. It all always seems to just break. So, what was it? You get furniture and pottery, and you... accept the wine and oil. And then I dream of someday having patricians. One, two, three, one, two. The patrician setup was pretty good, I just didn't have the money to complete it, so I feel quite vindicated about the design. It's just being able to afford it. Yeah, there's a good call to be made about reducing the amount of people I have significantly, just to squeeze out more taxes. I just don't like doing that. Mm. 
Are you having fun? If I'm playing Caesar, I'm generally having a fun time, unless I'm playing either Seleucids, Cartaman, or Logistica Nova. Those maps were real no fun allowed zones. I don't know, I can't, I can't bring it. I can't bring myself to delete these guys, even though it would make sense to. Just the thought of having to rebuild their nice mergers. I know it would be a pain to do. Oh, crikey. I really did forget about these. I even mentioned it earlier, but I thought, nah, it's fine. Vines and wines. Yep. You should delete them before they fall down if you know they're going to fall down, because it costs more to delete the rubble. Since there's four squares of rubble and just one square of uh, deletion needed to get rid of the building. That bit of wood is going to be there forever unless I process it. There. That'll get rid of it at least. Yeah, Marek's a monster. He just sets out to hurt people. I don't know why he does that. Goed, zie al die werkloze sloebers? Doe er eens wat aan. Come on, Caesarea, buy up all my marble before you start deciding to never buy marble again. People are pleased with me at my 14% tax rate, but they will change their mind. Oh, good, they bought all my marble. I think this is a year that marble just dries up entirely. is piecing itself together. Caesar isn't too unhappy. Say, do the map makers have to beat the map before releasing? Or can he just mess you up with an impossible map? Uh, there's nothing saying that they have to beat it beforehand. Palmar certainly does not. But I wouldn't like to have such stipulations in because it's going to dissuade map makers from making and submitting nice maps. Because I am really good at Caesar 3 and I uh, can't expect map makers to you know, step up and fill in my formidable shoes. That's unreasonable. Okay, I think, I think, I think we will have our houses here or our, or our setup for our patricians. Three and three. Yeah, it was something like that, right? Again, the wells are just there to constrain the buildings and so they don't merge the way that I don't want them to. Give them the doctor, give them the barber, engineer and prefect, and prefect, because yeah, prefects are very, very important. There's already a bunch of prefects coming down this way, but it couldn't hurt to have more. And right now I just want the marketplaces around to buy up loads of goods for them. Five should suffice for this uh, for this square. Yeah, I think it was Matthew that beat Payne. Do I have that map to show off? I swear I downloaded it, but it might have been back on my main PC. What would it be called? Matthew, I don't think, labels their maps with their name. Islands of Pain? 
I could have sworn I had it set aside thinking, oh, I want to show this off next time, but yeah, I'm not seeing it. Oh well, maybe next time I'll remember. Okay, the forts are all full. Do I just get more mounted? The mounted fight like dirt against the um, against the goths, but at least they don't cost weapons. All right, let's uh, let's have faith in our abilities here. Don't rush the patricians. You'll have what you need for them in due time. Just calmly get yourself the army that you need. Have the army, have the employment base, get the patricians, have the money, defeat the map. Simple. Of course, these are soon going to ask for every drop of marble that we've ever produced. I'm surprised these markets aren't getting or distributing food right now. There should be plenty for them to get over here. Of course, they're stocking up on wheat, aren't they? I will give them extra of that, because the demand on wheat is always the first and heaviest. Because wheat is the preferred food for all Romans. If a Roman house has access to every kind of food there is, they will always eat the wheat first. They will only actually eat the vegetables if they've run out of wheat, or if they are evolved to the point where they want multiple types of food. For example... At Grand Villa, uh, Grand Insulae, they start to eat two types of food. At Grand Villa, they eat three types of food. They will never eat four types of food at the same time, though. If they had four types of food and ate three, they would eat them in order of appearance here. So they'd eat the wheat, then the vegetables, then the fruit. But let's say they didn't have vegetables. They'd eat the wheat, then the fruit, then the meat. They always eat it in that order. That's why wheat is a preferred type. Set it build baths early as a matter of priority. There we go. I'm not rushing. I swear I'm not rushing. These people do need these items. Oh yeah, tell you what they definitely need is uh, taxed, and then taxed more. One, two, one, two, one, two, bang. Oh boy, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Gotta be careful now. Cannot afford to slip into debt. And the people are annoyed with me, so they're gonna commit crimes soon. So let's lower that tax. Just let everybody chill out. There's no need to rob my tax people. And I still need to expand the army. Uh oh. Oh, right, yeah, this. I actually need to lose a unit of Aftish's finest, because otherwise he doesn't fight as well as he needs to. Not the time, Caesar. Not the time at all. To which he probably says, if not now, then when? Where's my bleeding money? Right, where are you at, uh, Aftish? I actually want you to go and engage them in the front, then retreat, and hopefully you lose a few of your people so that you get academy trade next time. Go and take them out. Yeah, horrible losses on our side. 
How are units fight like dirt? I hope there are not huge attacks on this one. Also, I am hemorrhaging money each month, so I am going to lose five favor, basically, at the turn of the month. And then hopefully I can trade that away next month. But man, making money is so hard, there's nothing to sell. When people get more pleased with me, I can tax them a little harder, but then they get unhappy. Yeah, two maps today, Baron, but this one is kicking my butt. I don't want to restart it, but I'm also in a very poor position here. I think I underestimated how hard the trade situation would kick me. There's just no money to be made on this map. Well, I should be grateful that there are at least forums. This map, but only having a Senate? Oh, I don't think I'd even want to play it. That's that... That would be purely made for hurting people. I need to get back into the black for at least a little while, or else Toga Boy is going to be less than impressed with me. But that's okay. On come the donkeys to drink my olives. Oh, but I'm wasting money on furniture. I think I'll have to, I have to put an end to importing timber. It's costing me too much money, which is hilarious because timber is one of the cheapest goods. That's a bit better. I should get myself back into the black before the turn of the year. But this is also with taxes, which are making people unhappy, so let's drop that down a touch. Just build the hippodrome, it'll soak up a lot of labor. It will, but it'll also cost me two and a half grand. Oh, I am not happy that I'm still in the red here, with only four units of fruit to sell. Caesar's gonna flip his lid in uh, in the next month, right? We need to engage in ultra tax just to get me into the black here. There, oh god. So the moment we're in the black, and people are not best pleased with that, uh, inflation hits. So up go our wages to follow. Uh, this isn't great. We do need the... We do need the Hippodrome though, or else these people are never going to hit patrician levels. Otherwise we have most of what they need. I could follow the same strategy I did before and embrace the Ultra Debt to get these guys to patricians. But of course that has its risks. I might do it anyway. We'll do it in January. Yeah, live dangerously. We'll hit January, we won't take the favor loss because we're in the black, and then, then we have to uh, go hard. Wait, that's a terrible idea because Caesar will... Nah, we'll just have to accept the fact that Favor's going to fall to to 10. Question is, can we dig ourselves out of that Favor pit in time? Hopefully Caesar has a lot of demands that we can fit. Need more oracles, remember that, Jake. Good point. But this time we have a lot more money to play with than we did before. We need the oracles. Oh, didn't I? Okay, we've, we've got a lot of uh, marble. I forget if Caesar demanded the R-Marble already, or if... Let's see... That would have been quite recently. Oh yeah, I already gave him the marble. The problem, the difference is I still have my marble mines because I didn't switch out for weapons this time. Okay, January hits. Favor will be at 51 at the turn of the year. 52 now, and 51. And inflation hits again. Yeesh, okay. Just embrace the oracles, we love the oracles. Uh, give them the plaza as well. Now, what are they going to need from here? A 
I'll save so we're committed. If this doesn't work, then uh, I think that's it for me in this map. So hopefully it works. I would like to beat the map. Don't want to settle for a draw, one win, one lose. So... You already have the barber and the clinic, but you will need a hospital. You will need an academy. You have a library, you have a school. You will need an amphitheater, and I just hope that he walks down here at some point. You already have double taxation, man, which is good. You're going to need a large temple to two other gods. Let's hope that Neptune and Mercury are up your alley. Other than that, you just need the Hippodrome. The stuff to make the Hippodrome work. What's its position again? I wanted it... here. Twitchy fingers here has let me down. Okay, I also do need a gladiator school and an actor colony to make sure that the, uh, the other places are working at full pelt. School kids do make the full rounds, which is good. Is there anything else that I need to make sure this all works? You might reasonably say, what about labor access? That would be a good call, just in case they don't get it over there. Do you want more than one god? What level do you want them to be? I want them to be um, medium palaces. You need money to delete the wells. Yeah, you're not wrong about that, but... We're not going to be that far in debt, actually. Would you believe it? We'll actually be able to claw our way out of this quite soon. Right, this is, this is a point of no return, so saving here. Hippodrome goes down. Caesar's blood pressure goes up. And now we say, bring it. Let's see, 14% tax. Eh. I think I'll lower it for now so that I can increase it when... Actually... Unemployment's way down. We can maintain 14% tax for a while. And look at that. I am not in ultra debt. We're just in regular debt. Ah, bonne journée à vous. Est-ce que je peux vous intéresser à des biens de haute qualité? Haute qualité, indeed, Lucky. It's going not too shabby. Right, so we have to hope this is enough desirability. There is a very unuseful desirability map mode that doesn't really differentiate between high and very high. In fact, I, I don't think I ever use this map mode. It would be useful if it showed the values on the squares, maybe even when you hover over them. But nope, it does not. Now, it's of vital importance that the Hippodrome chariot enters this square at some point. Would be good if he ever went that way. Uh, oh, oh, crap. Uh, we are getting attacked over there all too often. I think they are good fights, though. They put um, they put a financial oh crumbs. Ah, oh, <laughs> there we go again. There goes my city again. Yeah, I know, Caesar. Um, they are good fights, though. They put a good economical pressure on your city, rather than being a uh, just a horror show.
Yeah, I should have known that. Enemies were at the door. It is a lot of pressure, though. But hopefully people are going to stop harping on at me about how, you know, your maps need to start with 500 denarii because you're too good. No, no, no. This is a much better financial challenge. And we didn't need to start with slums either. We went straight into racing ourselves towards the tax base and it felt good. 6,000 gold and no way to mo make more, yeah. Uh, it is tricky. In retrospect, I probably should have gone for Grand Insulae. They pay more money and they soak up more unemployment, which is a nice trade. I got way too much of this stuff. I'm probably going to turn off my oil and my wine because we got too much of that. That'll spare those people to work elsewhere and... Uh, People love this city. I bet they love it enough to pay 25% tax. Now what's being a big concern is that the Hippodrome worker is not going around here. It's vital for me that he does. Please, 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 please. Yeah, there we go. Now these people should have what they need to evolve further, and look at how quickly the horses die to being shot. If I had more money, I would be ignoring horses altogether and going for heavy infantry, but I uh, can't really manage that. Our horses are completely distraught from being shot to shreds. I, uh, I think I've lost this, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Did I ever mention I hate fighting gods? Man, one of these days, Palmar, we're gonna see you playing your own maps. Jesus. I'm getting horrible flashbacks to the gothic horror show map. Okay, well I know all this works, I just need to defeat this invasion. Single tower could swing it on our side and that's hilarious. Yeah, but it's not that simple. The tower would need la uh, access for labour and for... Uh, and road access towards the barracks so that it could be manned. Those aren't trivial things with this setup, and uh, I'm in so much debt that just moving around my barracks like that is a big concern. Gonna get a little closer so we can help the um, help the horses this time. Exactly, you named the reasons why it's so hilarious. <sighs> Uh, we're almost definitely going to be fighting Toga Boy as well, it's worth remembering that. People will happily pay loads of tax, so I'm going to turn off the oil, turn off the vino. We will have to have vine, uh, wine imports at some point, but don't worry, I've got that covered. Da -da -da -da. Oh my god! <laughs> what does it take? Well, as I said, Goths are one of the strongest enemies to fight, so this shouldn't be too surprising. Uh, and I know what it takes. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to do it, because I have little other choice. Oh right, I'm, I'm an 
I'm in too much debt. I can't even get these trees out of the way. There we go. Right, so, 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 so. Again, turn off the oil and off the wine. And what you can do is if you know an attack is coming in a certain way, gank them. Gank them hard. If you fight them the moment they spawn in, they don't get a chance to mass up. And even horses can take care of that. Even horses can take care of that. Oh, dearie me. Uh, hmm. I didn't forget the horses at the bottom, I left them there because I wanted them to uh, get more units whilst the fight was going on, but I don't think I can afford to be greedy here. I can still hear the Goths firing on all cylinders. Let's clear this out first then. Hippodrome. Ultra attack. Oil off, wine off. Save the game so I don't need to keep doing that in case this continues to not go well for me. Yeah, here's the thing I take losses here, but Toga Boy is going to come in with his own legions and uh, wreck me. It's not a good time to be this governor. Are, are six uh, horses really going to make the difference here, actually? Maybe having my javelins in on time will make a difference. Oh man, they punched a hole through the horses! Palmer, how big are these attacks? Is the answer just yes? All right, there we go. I'm I'm in agreeable debt. Oh, I also, if I recall well, wanted to turn off the tim timber import, so I already have. Mm, concerning. Can javelins shoot over a wall? Yes, they can, but the horses shatter very quickly. And if there are no horses there, then the Goths on their horseback just very quickly run through and ravage the city. So yeah, I think I need to call upon the ancient privilege here just to get some more warm bodies up front. Out of credit, Caesar. I need a I need a loan here. Buddy. Well, he's done giving me a loan. Thankfully, these astronomically high taxes help out. Mm, anything else I can turn off? I can turn off my vines. I guess I can turn off my olives for now. All those people that used to be farmers, they get handed a gladius and told, you police the streets now, champ. Any other industry I can turn off? I can turn off fruit temporarily. Alright, come on then. Ah, 
I think this is still going to come down to the wire, though. I'll reposition my horses so they plug the gap a little better. Because the goths punching through to my javelins is really terrible for me. Oh god, oh dearie me. Pull back jabs, let the, uh, let the policemen do their work. This is police business now. The city is safe whilst our Vietnamese police force is still alive. <laughs> oh, they fight like dirt. Wow. Hmm. What could even still be done? More of them? I guess. So I think I'll pull back the javelins a bit so that they can help boss more of the uh, more of the prefects get involved without killing themselves. It's looking promising. There we go. Holy moly! Let's hope that's the last of that. Oh, well, there's not another incoming attack, which is pleasant to see. And I'm sure Palmar already knows this, but gods are really, really powerful in this game. They're fast, and they have a ranged attack, and they're quite strong. The best counter to them is just lots and lots of heavy infantry. But, you know, we have no local weapons, and... Uh, we don't have a lot of money with which to import more, so uh, that's a thing. On the plus side though, with that heroic defense, maybe, just maybe, our prefects are going to be ready to pay the bills soon. Turn the industries back on? Yeah, I need my olives and my fruit back on, especially the fruit for the exports. They're waiting on oil. The market ladies will get oil from here. There's always this staggered delay of um, of upgrading your houses because market ladies don't get things unless people in their route request it. And they'll always get food because people always want food, but they're not, they haven't been getting oil because they haven't had Meacham Insulae demanding oil yet. But looks like, well, they should be going and getting that oil. Come on, what's taking so long? Whoa! People are giving the best compliments for the city. Better enjoy this while it's going. <laughs> what is Relix doing? He made a mwa for it. Mas o senhor tá de parabéns, hein? A cidade, ó, maravilha. Opa. Some of them are hard to find. Oi. Ah. Did I go be? Fuck Travis, my boy. Try and sound a little bit more enthused. It was difficult getting a city this good. I hope they don't know about the debt. Okay, there we go. Now they're going to want wine, which they have yet to pick up from here. If I can just hold out against Caesar, and Caesar is gonna... Yeah, if we can just hold out against Caesar long enough to tax these people until their togas fall off. Oh, but the problem is uh, people are becoming unhappy with me. 
Lower the taxes, make people happy, then tax them till they cry. Nixumechen, nothing to complain, the best German compliment. Could they not try a little harder? Uh oh, this is bad. This is really bad. The the temple workers here have not been walking over to here. So they're not actually getting any extra uh, god access. Hmm, that's terrible. Truly, truly terrible. It's eight different walks and none of them worked for getting down here, but oh well. Let's hope these do it. Come on, no, don't walk down there. Walk over to the patricians. I need it. I really need it. Okay, one of them made it. That's a good start. And that means that I can delete you and you and you and you. Now grow. Grow some more. Now they're waiting on the third type of food, but we have that third type of food. It's called fish. Although Ceres is still not coming down here. Just Mars and Venus. Please, Ceres. Hmm, this is actually considerably bad for us. How are we going to get a Ceres down here? I could hope that Ceres walks from there, and it is just hoping. Oh, I shouldn't have given Caesar that. He isn't going to give two hoots about it. I could, uh, I could actually reload and sort this issue. I can see, I can see the solution now. Ceres works from there, and then where did they suddenly? Why did they suddenly devolve? God knows, but they'll figure it out. And if I set my wine to import, then huzzah, Mijin Palaces. Genug! Niemand macht sich lustig über Rom! Right, we see it all now. We see it all now. Forget it, Caesar. I'm not listening to any of your complaints. Large temple for... Uh, oh crap, who was it that came up here? Was it Venus? I think that one worked. And that works. And we're going to have wine set to import, even though we can't actually import it. And... Stop people getting lost in there. Yes, yes, I'm a, I'm a nasty person, isn't that right, Caesar? Uh, was it here that worked then? I slam Neptune over there then. Still waiting on that wine, people. People are indifferent from my 25% tax rate. And drop it down to 14 temporarily, but I need to raise it real soon and get myself out of debt. There we go, there we go, go. Then I can delete these. And then... Keep it at 14 for a little bit. I need to drag myself out of debt like crazy here. But I have a funny feeling that a walker no longer does the walk like this. They started complaining about lack of entertainment at one point when I did this. Oh, that's good. 
people are pleased, well, they're going to get ultra taxed. I need to claw myself out of debt here. Please, I need the money. I have a funny feeling that they're not always paying their taxes. The forum walkers keep going the wrong way. Come on, come on, come on! People are not happy about this. Okay, okay. I'm running out of workers here, which is also pretty bad, but... Oh, my, my fruit and my olives are still off. Oh, okay. Well, uh... I guess marble has to follow suit. Back in black, baby. Okay. We've dug ourselves out of the worst of this situation. We've got our prefect. Uh, we've got our patricians that we need. They're going to pay the bills from now on. Sod the exports. But I will be embracing a lot of. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Unemployment will be back on the menu soon. Is what I'm trying to say. Poorly. Also, I really want my army back, and I want my army to involve some people that can actually fight. So. So, so, so... Exporting apples is no longer worth it in any capacity, so... Same with olives, really. I think I will just get rid of you and you. The fish ain't too bad, I guess. It doesn't really take up any space. But 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 you're going to accept iron and weapons. Weapons one, two, three. And we're going to import iron, but not right now. I want to make sure I'm in the in the black at the turn of the year. Please forgive me, Caesar. You know what I meant. The only reason he was angry was because he took enough tribute to put me into debt, so I didn't actually lose any... Uh, I didn't lose any favor for it. At least I don't think I did. Also, here's your pottery. All right, now. Now we can import the iron. Now we can make some soldiers that aren't terrible. How soon until we get attacked? There's no attack incoming. Great. There we go. An actual army. Boy, that was tight. But I think we should have it now. I have no idea how these game mechanic work, uh, work but... Let me try that again. I have no idea how this game's mechanics work, but I do enjoy watching you finesse it. Well, thank you, Fusho. I'm really good at this game, but even so, this map has been kicking my butt. But now I am the one doing the kicking. We have army, we have economy, we have employees needed. Hmm. Probably not a problem. It's only a tiny amount of... Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Palmar, let's be reasonable. There's nothing reasonable about what Palmar's doing here. Oh, crap. Okay, so straight away, this is probably going to cut off the road to Rome. So I already need to ship bridge across here and honestly probably here I've needed this for a while anyway my weapons industry that I just set up is about to die my dock is going to die well we'll see how it unfolds shall we
I am genuinely surprised about that. It saved the um, it saved the warehouse. Hmm. Okay, what can be done with this? The weapons workshop could be put down here. And... Do I have any space for some more weapon workshopping? I guess I have space here, but that's awfully far away, isn't it? Okay, nice rethink. The weapons and the furn uh, the weapons and the iron go here instead, and that allows me to have a really concise weapons manufacturing hub over here because we no longer need more marble. 